oldest running domestic rugby competition in the world sees its final taking place this weekend. Western Province are up against the Golden Lions and we joined up with the Golden Lions to see how their preparations were going. Rugby played a significant role in uniting South Africans and continues to be an integral part of the local weekend social life. From their home base at Emirates Airline Park, the Golden Lions have undergone a transformation in recent years and are currently at the top of Curry Cup Log. I think in the last couple of years, rugby has really made a shift if you look at the intensity that it's, that it's played at. The game has, has really accelerated over the last couple of years. The game has become quicker and you see the teams that are generally number one, two and three are those who have set-piece dominance, number one, and also skillful, so that's, that's extremely important. It started back in 2012 when we were relegated out of Super Rugby and we managed to fight our way back and Coach Aki's brought a young group of guys together and we just started a new culture. And we've really built since then, just going from strength to strength. It started in Super Rugby. We've just built a really nice competitive squad and, and a humble squad, which is really important for us. My team spirit is amazing at the moment. You know, the guys are enjoying the training sessions, the gym sessions, and we're just enjoying each other when we're chilling after our sessions as well. The boys are bringing a lot of cheers to all the trainings and it's a joy to come to, to training and for us work every day. Yes, the season so far has been awesome for us and we believe we're still growing as a team and the vibe in the camp is just amazing. We stick together and we care for each other and we're a family environment and that makes the guys come really close to each other and really care for each other. I believe that shows on the field uh, the guys who really want to play for each other. The team is also fortunate to have outstanding corporate partners like Globeflight, who are not only proud to be associated with the brand, but provide important services to the club and the players. Well, we've actually had a very long-standing relationship with the Golden Lions. I think we first started working with them in 2011. We've always been very attracted by the, the brand of rugby that the Lions play, rather than the results or anything like that. The role of a career partner for the Lions would be to obviously move all of their important documentation from a, a union perspective. We also, on the odd occasion, will move some emergency stuff for the players. Globeflight also has its own special car on the field during matches, which plays an important role for penalties and try conversions. With regards to the cart, it's essentially a motorized electric car that brings on the kicking tee for the goal kicker when it's required. It's a good representation of what we do as a company. We deliver things, we've got a massive fleet of vehicles, and it's a nice fun way for the public to get to know Globeflight. To have a courier partner taking care of important documents, gear and equipment means the coaching personnel, support staff and players can focus on the game, especially as they prepare to face Western Province in the 2015 Curry Cup Final this weekend. We've always been a team that, that never gives up and we'll play for, for the full 80 minutes, so mindset is going to be extremely important for us. I believe we have the skill and the intensity to go all the way. It's really important for us to to stick in our systems, keep, keep our feet flat on the ground because past results won't mean anything on the day and we'll have to pitch up on the day and put a good performance together. If I had to give some guys advice, you know, I would say work hard and believe in yourself. It's, it's, it's tough, you know, it's, it's, it's an industry that really needs a lot of hard work. You constantly need to work on your game. So I would say watch a lot of rugby and then work hard and keep on believing. And I think support is also very important. I mean, I've got a good support structure, so I would say support is really important as well. So for youngsters coming out there from personal experience, I must say is you've got to work harder in the gym, you've got to work harder on your skills, your passing, your kicking. The, the, the small things actually make a massive difference when it comes to professional rugby. And just for the youngsters out there, if you, if you can work hard on that, it'll take your rugby to the next level. All rugby players dream of ascending to the top of the game, but as these guys have proven, success is 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration.